can couples go from monogamy to ethical non-monogamy? I often refer to swinging as a journey for the both of you to go on, but sometimes making the transition from a monogamous relationship to an ethically non-monogamous relationship can be very daunting for most couples. So in this video, I'm going to talk about that process and what that can look like and give you some of my top tips on how to get started. Hi, my name is Rosie Kay and I'm an ethical non-monogamy coach for couples and for singles who want to start in the swinger lifestyle. On my blog, thiskindofgirl.co.uk, I aim to banish the stigma associated with the world of ethical non-monogamy and the swinger lifestyle. So a question that I received recently was, can couples go from a previously monogamous relationship to a newly ethically non-monogamous one? So first of all, Ethical non-monogamy is when you have a relationship, but you uh, enjoy sex or other intimacies or other uh, romantic connections with other people outside of that existing relationship. And you do so with your partner's consent. So that's what ethical non-monogamy is. Now, I believe that the process of unlearning what you have previously been taught about monogamy is the first step to going from a monogamous relationship to an ethically non-monogamous one. And this is very often the hardest thing that couples have to do because very often um, we're not taught about how to have ethically non-monogamous relationships. We're not taught about open relationships or swinging or polyamory. We're taught um, to be in monogamous relationships. So this is one of the first things that couples have to do. It's no... Um, you know, it's no easy thing to do. And if you're uh, interested in having an open relationship or starting swinging, then it's definitely something that you are uh, likely to embark upon yourself. Uh, so opening up your relationship and joining the non-monogamy lifestyle can bring you more closeness and emotional exclusivity to your relationship. But it can be very hard for people to understand this when they are first getting started because once again we haven't really been taught about this we're not really sure uh, of the benefits of being ethically non-monogamous we only really know about the benefits of being monogamous so again the first step is to start educating yourself as to what to expect also the good things and the bad things so you can really make a clear decision on what the lifestyle is about. Um, so many couples, they ask me, um, is swinging or being in an open relationship going to jeopardize what we have? And I understand where this comes from. Uh, after all, if you have no experience of ethical non-monogamy, how can you know what to expect? So for me, the foundations of an ethical non-monogamous relationship are based on honesty and trust you don't have to have been together for years before you decide to start swinging and there are no rules that state ethical non-monogamy is strictly for long-term couples as long as there is trust and there is communication I believe it is quite possible to learn how to be ethically non-monogamous as most couples involved in the lifestyle have all started off as previously monogamous I've been in the swinger lifestyle a very long time, for over 10 years now, and I've spoken to many, many, many couples over that time period. And most couples I have met have started off as monogamous and have then grown. They've established that trust. They've uh, begun to unlearn what they've previously learned. Um, and that's how they have kind of started getting into it. So here are a few of my top tips for getting started in the ethically non-monogamous lifestyle when you're transitioning from monogamy to ethical non-monogamy. So take small steps. There's no rush to discover the lifestyle and taking small steps at a pace which suits the both of you and especially the least most experienced person is so important. Uh, yes, you may feel like you want to go and visit a swingers club or go and meet people or go on vanilla dates, but in reality, taking things slower and moving at that steady pace is a much better option. Uh, the next tip is understand that it's okay to be 
scared. It's okay to be scared of starting swinging. It's okay to not have the answers. It's okay to be fearful and doubtful and worried. And for every step forward you take, you have to take a few step backs. This is okay. It's normal. Being apprehensive, being nervous and being doubtful are all part of the process. Again, you're not taught about this. We're not taught to live uh, ethically in ethically non-monogamous non relationships. We're not taught about it. So again, you have to unlearn what you have been taught. I wasn't born with all the answers. I had to unlearn and relearn just like you. So the third tip is establish some boundaries. Um, establishing boundaries, it just makes really good sense. What are and what aren't you okay with? What do you want to experience? What don't you want to experience? What makes you feel uncomfortable? Uh, it works, ethical non-monogamy works when you set boundaries and respect them whether that's always both being present uh, when having like a four-way chat or whether you're only going to engage in soft swinging or whether you're only going to meet for vanilla, you know, two or three vanilla dates first with a couple or whether you're only going to go to swinger clubs, you know, establishing your rules and boundaries and also how you're going to reconnect and how you're going to spend time together as a couple is another really important step. So establish these first. If you would like to find out more about going from a monogamous relationship to an ethically non-monogamous one, you can do because I created for you a complete guide to ethical non-monogamy. There are many different misconceptions as to what being ethically non-monogamous is all about. Um, and in the guide, not only will you find out what these are, but also you will get clued up on the facts. After reading my guide, uh, you will learn that there's lots of different ways to get involved in the lifestyle and that you are certainly not alone. Uh, in the guide, there's also advice on what to do to have a successful open or swinger relationship and how you can explore the dynamic while supporting your existing relationship. You'll also find information on how to overcome difficulties that arise uh, when exploring ethical non-monogamy. And I've included some of my most frequently asked questions for you uh, from couples who are in your position. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching my video. Uh, if you want to, please do subscribe to my channel. If you enjoy my content, I hope you found it really helpful. And uh, do remember that you can also join my TKG club where you can meet other genuine swingers. Uh, if you wish to support me and get your hands on some bonus content, you can do so by visiting my Patreon. Uh, all the details uh, for the links for everything are below in this description for the video. Uh, and as always, guys and girls, remember this. An open relationship, it doesn't mean one person having sex with others while completely disregarding their relationship. Genuine swinging is about honest conversation and real connection based on mutual respect. Thank you so much for watching, guys and girls, and I shall see you next time.